Hello, everybody. Cosmic Christy here. How's everybody doing? Oh, sorry if there's going to be a lot of noise around me. I'm trying to get to the best places. I don't really have a studio place right now to set up. It will soon. So just like always, I'm not exactly sure what we're talking about today. For me, the past few days has been super intense. If you're feeling like things are popping into your head that like you've already made a decision on you know the past three months we all collectively made a lot of big decisions especially if you're watching my channel right now and even when we know the astrology of it all when it pops up in our own lives you know our old programming takes over so it's very important that everyone understands that you know mercury going retrograde is giving us a little bit of time to go back over those lessons that we've learned and the decisions that we made and commit to them or not it's okay if you don't commit to them it's okay if you changed your mind as much love to you and as many angels to you are with you as with the one who chooses differently But it's a free will planet. It's why we love coming here so much. It is and it isn't. It's kind of like a catch-22 once you get to a point. <laughs> so these feelings of going back and reviewing some of these lessons and reviewing some of these decisions, which it's happened for me, were just little lessons to show us that and for me was to remember that my ego sometimes even though I think she's sleeping she's not we're human and we get these ideas in our sight and even when spirit seems to lead us somewhere so I had a story I uh, I felt led to this certain place and then it ended up that they were hiring exactly what I was at a certain time, but in a different industry. And because I was led there, and because I was led there by spirit, I, I thought it was a for sure thing. And then I, you know, everyone's telling us, don't get, your, don't get all caught up in, you know, the future, stay grounded, don't give any connections to the future, you know, just keep your mind open and keep space, hold the light. My mind went a little crazy and I got a little excited and um, and then I ended up not getting the position. And the old me would have thrown a fit, would have judged myself, would have gone over that interview like 50 times in my head to try to figure out what I did wrong, what I said wrong. The old me would have been upset and pissed and judging. When I got the message that I didn't get the position, I stayed calm. I already had some feelings that maybe it wasn't the best thing for me, for my future you know, as a galactic star seed. But, you know, my ego was going, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I did is I went to sleep. I told myself, all right, human, all right, ego, you can react in my sleep. I want you to clear all of this I want my human to go nuts, whatever it is that we need to do to get over this and go past this, but happen 
in my sleep. Well, I have never tried to do this before. I actually um, just heard this from Lisa Transcendence Brown yesterday, or day before yesterday. Didn't know if it would work, so I went to sleep, and oh my gosh, it worked. In my dreams, corporate Christy, which is what I call my ego, went nuts. In my dream, she went psycho. She grabbed a bunch of crap. She, what woke me up finally was that I, in my dream, I was so angry and crying and, you know, blaming myself and judgment on myself in my dream. And I was so angry that I didn't get what I wanted that I picked up a television and I threw it in the middle of the room. <laughs> and then I woke up. And I was like, oh, well, that's over with. I didn't have to experience any of it in my physical body. I got to experience what my human needed to see and feel in a different dimensional state so that I didn't own it in my physical. And it worked. So there's a lot of these repeats that are going to come up and they're going to keep coming up and it's okay whichever way that you decide, but do know that by the end of the year, these decisions will stick. And when you can go back and you can change them and you can go back and say, oops, I messed up again. But without giving out too much information, you really should try to do that if you want to walk on new earth now. These decisions, especially these repeat decisions are very important. And it's hard. And our human ego is in our, that part of our mind is going, oh my gosh, are you sure? Are you sure? You know, we're, we're, we're standing on the cliff, remember? We're about to jump into new energy, into a new age. And there are many of us lined up to jump. If you're not ready, it's okay. If you can't walk away from some of your family right now or your relationship or whatever it is, it's okay. But don't stop the journey. There's so much talk right now about us being on this cliff, about, and I promised my astrologist <laughs> my teacher that I wouldn't talk too much astrology because this is an area that I'm learning right now numerology came a lot easier for me but when Saturn and Mercury go direct by the end of the year this shift that a lot of us are already feeling is going to hit a lot more people. Especially the 1212 gateway. There's some other alignments that are coming up around the 21st. And it's very important to remember that no matter if you're walking this path or not, that people are feeling these energies. Everyone on the planet is feeling this. Everyone is in some shape or form or way being affected. You have friends that are obsessed in their mind with things right now. You'll have people maybe being obsessive with you that you haven't talked to in years. Um, you could be having ex-lovers, ex-friends popping up out of the blue. 
you could be dealing with some of the decisions that you made and beating yourself up about it. Um, you could be feeling suicidal. People around you could be feeling suicidal. Just outbursts and, and angry, like um, the lower pyramid of frequencies down here is where we've been stuck as, as a human race. And down here is shame, remorse, guilt, hate, judgment, pretty much everything we've done to each other for eons. It's what, it's what we had to work with. So now that this new energy is coming and it's coming on stronger and stronger every day, it's not even anymore just a new earth energy. Um, it's not even just cosmic. This is galactic energy. 22 different galaxies that are sending energy right now to the planet because just like our bodies on earth are, when awoken, are alive with everything, the air, the dirt, the trees, the water, the wind, the weather, the elements. Just like we house that information in our body and how our body is synchronistic synchronistically waking up other people around us same with our solar system so we're our solar system is the one that we've ever really been taught about there's so many more so many more guys we some of you know this but we're we're the babies um, the planet is billions of years old so of course, we're not the first civilization to have walked this earth. And the civilizations that were before us, we know some about. Um, the Egyptian age, the Mayan age, and there's ones that go back before that, Zeptepi, etc. And, and there's ones before that that we don't even know anything about. So we're babies, galactically. But whenever our planet ascends, which is happening right now, because there's enough people on the planet that have awakened to consciousness, Christ consciousness, which was also foretold. Remember, Christ consciousness is to return. Oh, I had to breathe into that for a minute. As each of us raises our frequency, our frequency, is, if you think about it, is um, how I started thinking about it, is, is my energy field, kind of like you're in an avatar energy bubble. And depending on who you are, because we're all different, we, we all have different gifts, and we all have different galactic gifts. We're, we're all come galactically. We've been, our, our DNA has been, infused, manipulated, however you want to say. Some of us um, are H negatives, um, some of us aren't, it doesn't matter. There, are, I know many people that aren't RH negative that are at this 5D state now. The double simians, which I'll do a video on soon, because they're vitally important to the evolution. So when we, if you're not ready and if you have family and friends that aren't ready, two things. One, it's okay. They'll come around whenever they experience what they're supposed to experience to bring them right here by will or by force. Let them be. 
if they're anything like most of us, in order for us to awaken, something really bad had to happen. We had to, we had to come to a point so much that we just couldn't trust our ego anymore. And, and those things we put in our lives on purpose. For me, it was losing my company and losing everything that I had built. Unfortunately, that's what I knew. My soul knew that that's what it was gonna take for me to wake up. So, that's number one. Let them be. We can't waste our energy on the ones who aren't ready. However, I mentioned this in another video because, oh my gosh, I've seen it now more and more and more and more since I made that video. If you, let's say you're in a family, you have um, your husband and children, and yes, as starseeds came here, some of us were granted the right to have children because we could handle it and because it was so important for us to bring our children in. And children are so much an important part of this, but right now let's just get through this month. We're worried about our families. The only thing that's keeping us away from making that final jump sometimes is our families. And what I wanna share is this. And I was told, one of my teachers told me this, and then I experienced a shift within my family just because of my shift. So let's think about this. Your immediate family, if they truly love you and the intent is truly there, they're really not going anywhere. Your vibration can be raised and your frequency can be raised in your bubble vessel. And when you're in close proximity to your family, you share energy. Now it's very important that you put intent on your energy. Um, I'm learning this right now. Intent on your energy, um, keeping your energy up right now, not letting it go down, but raising everyone up. And if you can do that, if, if you can get your frequency up around your family and if you can hold it there, make them turn off the TV, have a, have a good talk, bring, bring a book in there, um, get that negative, uh, those waves out of there but if you can do that then what happens is since our energy bubbles start overlapping then it naturally raises their frequency as well and I've had a miracle happen in my personal life with this that I never thought would happen um, I made a video a while back, I don't know how long it was ago, about shifting the family. And at that point, the shift was just a little bit more caring and opening up. And um, these people that were unconscious that I was pushing out of my life, all of a sudden said, hey, I realize what I'm doing, I'm sorry, Like, let's try to work on this. But since then, it continued to happen to where they got sober on their own. <laughs> Not only him, but a lot of his family. And their whole family is healing now. So I'm not saying that that's all happened because of me, because none of this is about me. But what I am saying is that we are all more powerful than we ever thought. And so why can't I say that God's Christ consciousness has affected this family? And in this case, it affected was affected through me. We all have this capability. But our ego tells us, oh, we can't say that because then that's going to make us seem like we're this or that. Well, I don't care. I just doubted myself a second ago. I'm not doing it again. This is what we came here to do. We came here to ground light. 
each of us grounding different light according to our DNA and our genealogy and not just genealogy but the actual DNA in our body that holds the cosmic and galactic lineages of ourselves. We came here to spread Christ consciousness. We came here to help awaken the planet. And just a quick reminder, this evolution was a 36 year cycle. This is a message that I got right when I woke up seven months ago. Everything's in a cycle of nines. The Mayans knew this, the Mayans had nine steps to build a house, they had nine steps to plant, they had nine steps to harvest. Nine is a catalyst number, it's a very important number, three, six, nines. If you're seeing a lot of these, this is why. Powerful, powerful, powerful catalysts. So of course, the evolution of humanity is going to be derivative of nine. So the earth is entering into a place of new energy, our galaxy, the whole galaxy. And we're all connected in the galaxy. So when earth raises her ascension, Gaia and all the inhabitants on earth start raising their vibration then the whole, our whole solar system frequency, just like tree roots that are in a forest. You cut down one tree, you think it's just one tree, but you affected the whole forest. It's the same thing except opposite. We're raising the vibrations of the planet. We're raising the vibrations of the solar system. We're raising the vibrations of the galaxy. We're raising the vibrations of the other galaxies. And so, this is how these shifts are happening. It was a 36 year cycle. Humanity has had four other chances to ascend, to lighten our frequency. Three of them were not very successful at all. Like I haven't heard anything. I, for a mass awakening this is the first time it's happened the last time was the origination of this shift and they did have some people that walked through but it's still this timing okay so if you know people that have been living on 5d which we all know there's a few that are mostly teachers to us they went on new earth in 2012 it took five years for them to anchor in the energy to allow and for us to awaken to allow for us this opportunity as the Galactic Center came and, and we could rewrite. It was prophesied that we weren't gonna make it. Notre Dame has prophesied it wasn't gonna happen. The Bible prophesied it wasn't going to happen. And so galactically, they weren't sure if it was going to happen. So what happened was it was a 36 year cycle and, it, and this we're now in year ending the year 19. Next year is year 20 in that cycle. But there were 18 years that galactically we everyone was preparing for the shift. But it was probable that it wasn't going to happen. So for the first 18 years was in preparation. And then it happened. <laughs> we didn't blow up. There wasn't another war. If you, I know you feel it. All these massive changes that are happening to all of us and, and all the letting go and the shedding of emotions and the letting go of the materialism and, and all these changes that have come a lot this year in year one okay so year 19 is year one at some point in our future it will be recognized that there was a shift in this year 
and this will be called year one. Just as we started over the Bible in BC and AD, Christ consciousness returned 2017. Amazing, isn't it? <laughs> Crazy. I don't know what they'll call it. Maybe CC. So this new energy all of us are learning how to deal with, we can only go step by step. You can't push the process. You can't push the awakening. But don't fight it either. There's so many RH negatives on the sites right now and they're fighting it. They're fighting it and I, I jump in as much as I can and, and surrender. You have to surrender to the, polar, to the polarity. Everything in this third dimension is a polarized system. You either love or you hate. You either like or you don't. You, you're either good or you're evil. You're either, I'm bad and you're good or whatever. That polarity is the third and fourth dimensions. You have to let it go. You do not have diseases. If you say you don't have diseases, you can miraculously heal yourself. You talk to your body, you talk to your cells. Being awake means being conscious and being conscious of every decision and everything that you do. And it is, it is a learning process because our brain is so programmed. And once we get to one point where we can say, okay, I'm a star seed and this is this and this. Well, guess what? It, another process starts. There's so many layers, you know, then we have to, we have to clear our karmas. Um, then, then we have to heal and clear our twin karma. And then, um, oh my gosh, our light body goes through so many different levels, even from crystalliz crystallization. So if you're exper experiencing health problems right now, it's because your body's getting more light and something's stuck. Yesterday I had a migraine, so I get migraines too. I used to get them really bad. And really, 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 really bad. I was always on medications when I was younger for migraines. Ever since I awakened, I realized the migraine is just a big download. And typically it comes from Uranus. When Uranus is doing something in my chart, then I get these man my head feels like it's gonna crack open well I used to give in to the pain you know the pain was so intense and I couldn't think of anything else and so the throbbing would get worse and then I'd start getting sick and I mean it was gone then basically the only way for me to get rid of it is to knock me out now that I know when I get these headaches that I'm getting these downloads and now that I know that there are yogis that have spent their whole lives trying to get to a point where they see the visions that we receive with migraines. This is why so many of us RH negatives have migraines. It's because we have blocks on these energies coming in but if you get that euphoric or um, that aura, the migraine aura, or you have visions in your pain, for me, they roll really fast. Like a, it's a little bitty video screen like this, but it's like, I mean, it's so fast. It takes me, sometimes I never really see all of it, but it's like a fast movie. Well, there are actual yogis that work their whole life to receive that gift. Now that I know that that's, what comes to with a migraine, I try to, I settle into it, I breathe into it, I relax myself completely, and I surrender to it. I'm not going anywhere. Nothing needs to be done that's more important right now. All I need to do when I hear those ringing in my ears is raise my frequency and relax into it and keep giving my migraine intent. I intend for this migraine to bring me messages. If I'm gonna have it, then let me understand the messages. And I had a completely different experience yesterday. When you're on Facebook or you're on talking to your friends and you're saying, and I'd still do this too, cause I have to catch myself. And you're saying, 
oh, I have this disease and I have this disease and I feel like this and somebody even will give you like a positive something and, and you can't even see it. You don't even see the positive. You only, you only want the misery. You have to let that go. You don't have to. You can stay right where you are. But going to the doctor and taking the medications isn't going to do it for you anymore. Because there really is no need to take the medication. A good friend of mine now saw one of my last videos about ADD and taking medications. And it resonated with her and she stopped immediately just like I stopped I stopped taking hormones I don't I don't have ovaries um, so I was taking hormones I was on antidepressants for years because of my migraines and when I woke up I just stopped taking all of it just stopped never had a side effect my body had already changed you know your light body is coming in to affect you will depending on your light body. For me, I lost a ton of weight. My bone structures changed. I look completely different. All in a good way. But now I don't need as much food. Um, you start craving different foods. There's certain ones that you ate forever that you just can't tolerate anymore. I mean, these are all the changes. This is all normal. But we can't, we can't sit on the fence anymore. We, we can't say, okay, I accept all these good things. Good, I don't have to stop. I can, I can stop taking medication and I can stop doing this and I can stop doing that and I can get my body in tune. But then I'm gonna spend all my time with these people who are still asleep and I'm just gonna go into my dream state there and kind of escape because I can't think about this, you know, frequency and Christ consciousness and all this stuff all the time. If you are a star seed, if you are an RH negative, this is why you came here. If you choose not to come on board, that's okay. But you can't use both. You, we're not allowed. The gifts are abound. The changes are immense. They're going to happen eventually. If they don't happen in this life, then you'll pass on. And when you come back, you'll enter into the new energy with your Akash intact. And you might be beating yourself up a little bit. Because then you realize you could have done it then. All the changes that you're seeing in the world, the politics, Donald Trump, send him your energy and your love because he's on our side. And there's so much to change up there. The rest of it's up to us. A housewife sitting in her house who is completely lit up with the highest frequency, who works on her spiritual self every day, is just as important right now as Donald Trump. Because you now where she is, and we're all spread out all over the world, all over the earth, in every corner, wherever we are upholding our light frequency, those bubbles just expand and expand and expand and expand, and we touch everyone around us. I've witnessed this. I've, I've witnessed uh, perception changes when people enter my energy field. It's quite, it's quite cool, but it's quite trippy. <laughs> And then I saw it collapse. And then a little bit of chaos took place because I was out in public. But for that hour and a half, it was just everyone's higher self that I was talking to and my higher self that was there. And it was amazing. So I think that's it. This is just a little food for thought. what I was guided to put out. It's December 7th. We're almost there. Please, please, please 
if there's anything that you want me to talk about, something that's hitting you, an emotion, a family situation, whatever it is, it's, there's nothing that you're dealing with that everyone else isn't dealing with. And if you watch me share my videos with others, um, tell me what you're dealing with so I can talk about it and, and give you another video or because everyone's dealing with it. That's, that's the fact. So I want to thank you all. And can I get a hoo hoo? <laughs> and all my trillion angels sing, amen. Stay focused. Keep your vibes high, keep your vibes high, keep your vibes high. Go through the emotions, let them flow. Just flow, just flow and surrender. Just flow, surrender, and observe. If things start popping off around you, you don't have to be in the middle of it. You can just be an observer, and that's what we're here for, okay? All right, I'll talk to y'all soon. Please, please, please subscribe, okay? And, or not, at least send me a message so I know what you guys are going through, all right? I love you, and I love you all of the all of the all, for I am not small.